Are there any tips in negotiating with investors? Are there any tips for negotiating with investors? That is a great question. There's all kinds of ideas and tips and thoughts I can give you with investors. Here's probably the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Listen to them because I like listening to successful people and you should too. And if they're a qualified investor, which would be your reason for pitching them, at the very least you must have decided that they've had enough success to make it worth it for you to pitch them and therefore listen to them. Doesn't mean you have to act on what they told you, but at the very least, listen. They usually tell you what type of investor they are. They are. Some will tell you I'm highly active, I like being a part of what's going on in the business, I like communicating a lot, I like to generate ideas together. Well, so then with that individual, you're going to have to be an idea generator if you want his or her money. Others will say, listen, I don't want any hassle, don't bother me unless the place is burning to the ground, I don't really want to hear from you. Okay, well, you're going to have to be, do your own thing and really not bother the dude if you want his money. Um, you don't always have to tell the investor everything, but you do probably always have to listen to what they have to say. Otherwise, you probably won't be horribly successful. Uh, you know, negotiating a deal is critical. You might see somebody that says, well, I'll give you X number of dollars, but I want X percentage of the company. And it may be more than what you were willing to give up. But see, the valuation of the company is what an angel investor determines is the most critical to him based on his money he's going to give you. Well, so that valuation impacts, I'm going to give you X number of dollars and I'm going to get X percentage of your company in exchange for that X number of dollars. Mm -hmm. okay? Well, with that being said, there are plenty of situations where a person will say, I'll give you X number of dollars, but I want 50% of the company or 51% of the company or 70% of the company, whatever the case may be. Well, at that point, you've lost control. And at that point, someone can change your concept. Of course, there's the other, which is, I'm going to wait till the end, and I'm saying, listen, I'm not budging a bit, and I don't need your money that bad. Well, then you've got to be willing to not have your concept get off the ground, because you do need his money. That's why you need a star-studded team of people around you that have been down this path before. Not only are they going to be able to help you with what the concept is, the business plan, the investor presentation, and all the parts of it, but they're going to be able to help you with the valuation, how to deal with the investor, how to find more investors, where you go to find them, who they are, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a, it's a whole world on its own, finding capital. Mm. And you also got to understand, finding bank funding, total opposite end of the spectrum from, from finding equity funding. Equity funding is an angel investor giving you his money or her money for a percentage of the company. There's debt funding, which is going to the bank or going to an investor to get a loan. They're not really an investor. They're providing you a loan. That's debt. We're talking equity. My area of expertise is totally on the equity side of things. I stay away from the bank funding. It's real simple bank funding. Go to the banks. They'll tell you what you need to do. They'll have you create a whole bunch of paperwork. They'll take every business plan you give them, and they'll have you make changes and make changes and make changes. And why is that? Because the guy that you're asking if the bank will loan you money isn't the guy that makes the decision on whether or not you get it. Mm. So all they're doing is having you fill out paperwork so that they can move it on to what's called an underwriter. Basically, a person in the bank or a group in the bank that will look at your documents, look at your paper, and then they're going to determine whether or not they're going to give you a loan. But the person that's sitting there at the bank, he or she's not the decision maker. So the banker will help you do that. 
long, long, 